Hey everyone, Trace here. Today I'll be making this Valentine card and it is so much fun and it's very unique and unusual and everybody that sees it will say, how in the world did you make that? Uh, it's really cute. So this is a six page card which is an accordion type card and it will fold down right down to a 5 by 7 card and it's really really pretty and it's six pages so you can embellish it and put all kinds of different notes on all those different pages it's so much fun so let me show you what you're going to need for that you will need two sheets of 12 by 12 very sturdy cardstock as sturdy as you can find in the 12 by 12 size. So you will need two of those. You will need a paper trimmer, a scoreboard, some sticky tape, and this is half inch sticky tape. You will need some scissors and a bone folder. And what we're going to do is a two part series in for this card because there are quite a few steps in order to get it to, to have six pages to it. You will, it, it's going to take a couple of videos for that. So this is just part one where we're just going to construct the actual card itself and in part two we will decorate it and embellish it. So let's get started. So the first step you're going to do is cut one of these sheets to a piece that measures 10 by 7. So let's cut 10 first. And this particular 12 by 12 page does not have a little overlap or a, um, a skew little part to it. So I measured, make sure that it is 12 by 12 in fact. So let's go down to 10 inches here and go ahead and cut this piece off then you're going to cut it at 7 okay so these are some great scraps so that's your first piece. And then your second piece that you're going to need is measuring 10 and a half by 6. So let's do the 10 and a half. And 6. So that's your second piece and the third piece since it's already cut at ten and a half all you need to do is cut one inch off of here to make it ten and a half by five so you want to put it at the five and cut so these are your three main pieces that's going to create the actual card itself. So next, with the piece that measures 10 by 7, you want to put it in your scoreboard on the long side, on the 10 inch side, and you want to score that at 5. 5 inches. And I score a couple of times, nice and crisp. So that's the first piece. Then your second piece, which measures ten and a half by six. So you want to put it on the long side, so the ten and a half inch side. And you want to score that at five, five inches.
and at 10 inches. That's your second piece. Then the third piece, not that one, this one here, which measures 10 and a half by 5. You're going to score that one at 5 inches. and at 10 inches. Okay, so that is all the scoring needing to be done. Next, with piece number one, which has the score straight down the middle, has, wants to jump out of my arms here. So with this piece here, you want to take a ruler and you want to take a pencil and make a little notch at one inches on this side here. Just one inch down. You want to make a little notch. Then with the paper trimmer you want to take it and angle it so your notch is here and your score mark is right here. So you want to make sure, you may have to go far down on the trimmer so it fits. So you want to put the score line right on the blade line here. Score line is here. Then you want to also angle your notch that you made right on that cut line here. So make sure that both of those are on the trimmer. Then you want to go ahead and cut that. Now if you are a little concerned about cutting that with your trimmer, you can go ahead and make a slight mark in pencil with a ruler and go ahead and cut that with your scissors if you prefer. So then we'll do page number two which has the score line here and then the one inch score line on this side here. Okay so this is page number two. Just remember the half inch score line is on this side and then you want to do the exact same thing. Mark down one inch from this side here. Make a notch with your pencil and then bring it to the trimmer and line up this notch down here and the score line here both on the cutting line very gently and go ahead and cut that angled there. So this is piece number three and what you're going to do is hold it with the half inch score line on this side here and you're going to put a one inch mark down on this side here and you're also going to make a one inch mark at the center where the score line is. So go ahead and make your marks there and what you're going to do is bring it to the trimmer and you're going to cut the one inch mark only to the score line. So go ahead and put it in your trimmer here. Make sure that's nice and even and only cut to the score line. My trimmer is having a little trouble. I'm going to cut that with my scissors. So next you're going to cut an angle cut from the score line here to the center. You should have a little notch over there. So go ahead and put it in your trimmer to where it is 
lining up on this cut line there to there my blade is definitely not cutting very well so I'm going to remain that with my scissors so since my blade of my trimmer is getting a little dull I went ahead and did it this way without a trimmer just also to show you that it can be done without the trimmer so just angle that from the score line to the notch there and a light pencil mark and I'm going to go ahead and cut that with my scissors instead and that's just fine that's probably the better way to do it so you don't cut all the way across to the to the corner here you want to leave that half inch score line there so that is what page three will look like next you're going to attach some sticky tape on piece number two and piece number three and you want to put it along your half inch score line here just the entire thing it should fit very well because it's the exact same size. So just go ahead and cut that off there. And on piece number three, the exact same spot. Now we're going to put it all together. So we're going to attach them all together. And this is the smallest piece, and this is the second one. So we're going to release that back of the sticky tape here. And you're going to, so this is your front piece, this is where it goes wider. And these two should match up nicely. So go ahead and stick those down. Be sure to match up the bottoms really well. And go ahead and press that down. And also be sure to erase any markings, pencil markings and notches that you have left. So now these two will go this is the front part. It folds in and then back and then in again. And then back. Go ahead and score that down. And this is your other piece. And that will go onto here with your angle going that way you can go ahead and score that down ahead of time so that will attach here release that back and measure up the bottom that's very important that that matches nicely and go ahead and stick that down so that part will go backwards and so that is how it all will attach and go ahead and score down all of these pages And I have a slight overlap. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off to make that nice and clean. So there, it's all nice and trimmed up. That looks much better. So this is the end of part one. Everything's put together. 
and you can see how it accordions out many pages, six pages in all. And so in part two, we're going to put on the panels, and that will cover up all of the joins that you have here. And so you'll never even see that it is three different pages put together. So I'll see you next time with part number two. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.